Markham Vineyards is the fourth oldest continuously operated winery in Napa Valley. And we produce roughly 100,000 cases of wine a year under the Markham label. Well, this is actually the third year of uh, the Markham Mark of Distinction Award. And it's a, an award that's given to two very deserving uh, recipients that have a huge impact on their community. Markham Vineyard started the award based on a long history of supporting uh, various charities around the country. Kind of as a payback for how well we were received in this community. Organizations uh, actually apply online and they have to describe what the money would be used for and how impactful it could be on their community and also supply a budget for exactly how the money would be used. First, there is the application process of which we receive usually over a hundred different applicants from around the country. Uh, a screening process uh, by a third party to pick 10 finalists based on merit, and then a voting process. People are allowed to vote once a day for up to 30 days. My name is Chief Larry Dombrowski. I'm the Chief County Detective for the District Attorney's Office in Erie County, Pennsylvania. And uh, we're here representing uh, EerieAlert.com, which is a website we created for our neighborhood watch groups uh, to share information about safety and other issues throughout our community. Erie County actually is a, a great place to live and, and raise a family. Unfortunately, with the demise of the manufacturing base and there's unemployment, uh, things like that, sometimes that unfortunately leads to criminal activity. By using the grant money from Markham, uh, we are now able to get funding to actually create a better communication between watch captains, neighborhood watch groups, and the police. One of the things we're going to do is get direct connect cell phones that uh, a neighborhood watch that is having problems, uh, particularly like youth violence, will have direct connections to the officer in charge of the shift. And uh, this circumvents that communications gap when you have to call a dispatch center uh, in order to have somebody arrive to solve whatever problem is happening in a neighborhood. We're also looking at offering scholarship funds uh, to college students that are willing to uh, volunteer to neighborhood watch groups to help them organize or become organized, collect uh, st statistics to create strategies that will solve the problems in different neighborhoods. We're elated to find out we were one of 10 nationwide finalists and then obviously overwhelmed when we found out we actually won. Uh, this is a win-win situation for Erie County, Pennsylvania. My name is Kelly Grangs and I am a volunteer board member with the New Ferret. The New Ferret is a coalition of small businesses and property owners, renters, tenants, on a corridor uptown New Orleans from Jefferson Avenue to Napoleon Avenue on a historic corridor called Ferret Street. Ferret Street has a deep history of culture, diversity, tradition to the New Orleans community. Once Katrina happened, it was questionable of would that area be able to rebound and come back. We lost our building due to hurricane force winds, as did a number of our neighbors in the community. That's a very large challenge of people that just unfortunately have not been able to return to New Orleans, and not just residences, but blighted businesses on the corridor. And so we work directly with them, trying to get them back, get those buildings back into commerce to get the vibrancy of the corridor back to what it was. The grant money I earmarked for branding, promoting and advertising all of the businesses on the corridor. Once people slow down and recognize the fabulous small businesses on this corridor, the economic impact will be tremendous. And I was so stunned by how many people across the country voted and then emailed me and said, congratulations, we were in your court. We love New Orleans and we love Ferret Street. And this became a great opportunity for us to show 
We are back in business and back better than ever. Another sidebar to receiving the grants is the fact that we produce two single vineyard Cabernets from Markham's Calistoga Vineyard and Markham's Yonkville Ranch. One called the Altruist, the other the Philanthropist. Each year, the two grant winners are honored on the back label of these gorgeously etched bottles. The production limit is teeny. We're making only 500 cases of each annually. And I think the communities really enjoy it because when they get a bottle a couple of years down the road, it's just so emotional for them to see their, their name on the back of this bottle. My goal for the Mark of Distinction Awards is to, to keep it going. Um, I am deeply driven to not ever let this program disappear. I'd like to thank uh, Markham Vineyards for, number one, giving us the opportunity to even become one of ten nationwide finalists, and then secondly, allowing us to use the voting process to energize our community uh, to win. Everyone on Ferret Street is so excited, so honored, so grateful for this opportunity that will impact our community tremendously. We just cannot thank Markham enough.